Touch the lake. Good evening, everyone. This is Tibet This Week, a weekly feature in English that tells you about this week's news on Tibet, His Holiness the Dalai Lama, and the Central Tibetan Administration. Let us have a look at the headlines first. His Holiness concludes historic visit to Arunachal Pradesh and Assam. India's approach towards the Dalai Lama shifted from closed door to open door, says the Tibetan political leader. United States House Democratic leader urges President Trump to raise Tibet with Chinese counterpart. A look at the news reports filed by the overseas offices of Tibet. On Wednesday this week, thousands of devotees and well-wishers, Tibetans and Indians from all walks of life celebrated the return of their beloved spiritual leader, His Holiness the Dalai Lama to Dharamsala after his historic visit to the Indian states of Arunachal Pradesh and Assam. His Holiness departed from Tawang, Arunachal Pradesh on Tuesday where the Chief Minister Pema Khantu and other dignitaries saw him off. Thousands of urgent devotees appeared in droves to bid an emotional farewell to their most revered spiritual leader. A devotee from Tawang expresses joy and veneration toward His Holiness the Dalai Lama. We feel really very really blessed to have His Holiness here in, amongst us in these three days. We felt like it was a new rebirth for us and we really thought that it was a day of blessing and uh, blessing and joy and we just uh, we had uh, we had nice uh, blessings and uh, teachings and we learned a lot of lot from him and we really pray for his long life and his blessings will be all, all, always on us in the town of Tawang, His Holiness spoke to over a thousand professionals on secular ethics and happiness and advised them to use intelligence to bring happiness. Use our intelligence maximum way to that way transform our emotion. That's the proper way, not ritual. And the uh, individual who already has some experience then on top of that, some ritual, then okay. But the other tradition, uh, I have no right to sort of talk or the interfere with. As far as Buddhism in general, particularly not in the tradition. His Holiness gave teachings and conferred empowerment to over 50,000 devotees from the Himalayan region, including Bhutan, for three days at Yika Chunzi teaching ground, and also paid a visit to Ugeling, the birthplace of the sixth Dalai Lama, Tsayan Gyatso. His Holiness also visited Toji Kanto Memorial Museum, built in the memory of the former Chief Minister of the State. While addressing over 50 members of media, His Holiness hinted at a possibility of holding a preliminary discussion this year regarding the future institution of the Dalai Lama. At the end of the five days spiritual engagement, His Holiness promised to visit the place again to confer teachings. Chief Minister Pema Khandu, who accompanied the Tibetan spiritual leader throughout the visit, expressed the state's gratitude to His Holiness for coming to Arunachal after eight years. I think personally, yes, uh, His Holiness uh, has a very special uh, relation with uh, Mon people. As I have already mentioned, that uh, Mon people were the first to receive His Holiness uh, while traveling from Tibet uh, to uh, here in India. So this makes a very, you know, very uh, big bondage between His Holiness and the people of uh, Mon area. And lastly, I would also like to express my heartiest uh, thanks to Sikyong Lopsang Sangela and his entire uh, team of uh, Central Tibetan Administration and along with uh, the private office of His Holiness for guiding us, for facilitating us, to, you know, His Holiness visit here in Arunachal Pradesh and making this program a grand success. Thank you. On Thursday last week, Tibetan political leader Si Kyong Dr. Lopsang Senge in an exclusive interview with the NDTV 24-7 said that the hosting of His Holiness the Dalai Lama by the Indian government, especially under the Modi government in recent times, indicate a shift from closed door to open door approach towards His Holiness the Dalai Lama. Responding to a question about Beijing's objection to His Holiness's visit to Tawang, Si Kyong remained unfazed and said, one sense, no, because His Holiness Dalai Lama and has visited uh, Tawang and Arunachal Pradesh before. So, at the request of thousands of followers, Buddhist people, uh, His Holiness is visiting there to bless them. So, Bhutila, Tawang, 
He's simply making spiritual teachings to his followers. Mm -hmm. So China is making mountain out of molehill mm -hmm. and saying you're hurting the sentiments of the Chinese people. These are the usual uh, drama or the rhetoric that they use. Uh, this time it's against uh, India. But each time his holiness meets with any global leaders, they do the same. Supporting His Holiness's recent statements on the situation inside Tibet under Chinese authoritarian regime, Xi Gong said. It's true, the, the regime that uh, is there in China is authoritarian. And there is lack of democracy, there is lack of freedom of speech. And if Chinese government really wants to demonstrate that there is democracy and freedom uh, in Tibet, uh, with the Tibetan people, mm -hmm. they should allow our UN experts or international diplomats to visit Tibet freely and assess the situation and report to the international community. The fact that they don't allow uh, these things to happen, the fact mm -hmm. that they repress Tibetan people even now, clearly uh, reflects that China is an authoritarian system and uh, they are repressing the Tibetan people. So what is all in the dialogue saying is right. Days ahead of meeting between Chinese President Xi Jinping and the United States President Donald Trump, United States House Democratic leader Nancy Pelosi sent a letter to President Trump urging him to raise the serious issue concerning the violation of human rights in China and Tibet to President Xi on his visit to United States. Nancy Pelosi wrote, I believe, Mr. President, that if we do not speak out clearly for human rights in China because of commercial interest, we lose all moral authority to speak out for human rights any place in the world. President Xi's government works to control and eliminate Tibetan culture and religion through gross mistreatment of nuns and monks and even the demolition of Larungar Monastery. The Dalai Lama is revered for his spirituality across the world, which has led the Chinese government to fear him and imprison those who express respect for him, said the letter. Let us now look at the news reports filed by officers of Tibet. On Tuesday this week, Member of European Parliament Shaba Shogor hosted Representative Tashi Prinzog of Office of Tibet Brussels and European Union Advocacy Officer Rigzin Chirjo in Gyeongkang in Romania. Representative Tashi Prinzog spoke on tragic human rights situation inside Tibet under the totalitarian Chinese rule. The representative and EU advocacy officer also participated in the opening of an exhibition titled Ways of Wisdom on His Holiness the Dalai Lama at Kowasna County's Tourist Information Office. Thank you for watching Tibet this week. Have a good weekend.